Well, 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 welcome to another episode of Redux with Gerald Swinky, aka Cheetor, as we're on another part of Pokemon Academy Life. As um, Sabrina had a thing that happened in, in, in the battle gym, that was fun. Um, and now Will had to come in there and it's like, hey, you can't, you can't be like this. <laughs> so let's continue from there. <clears throat> My ESP isn't nearly as strong as your, your disciple. If your thoughts differ from your words, you, you'll need to tell me. Yes, instructor. Instructor? Why am I here? Oh, right. I just wanted to make sure you were right. After hearing my disciples' distress, I immediately dashed to the rescue, of course. Not just for, of her, but of her opponent. Instructor. You see, Brain here is a tremendously powerful Esper, the pride of the greater Inspire Esper community. That's three people. It's fair to say her headaches can be quite a headache for other people. Instructor, instructor, please let me explain. Oh, of course, be my guest. When my headaches get especially bad, I, my te telepathy inverts, and other people hear my thoughts. Oh, so I, you know, I need to be careful of what I'm thinking. Be sure I don't reveal any secrets. I understand this makes it hard to trust me. Have you ever spilled a secret like that? Have you ever spilled a secret like that before? Yes, a friend's. Is that the friend you told me about before? The one who uh, left you? No. I've had a handful of friends who have discarded their bonds with me after my powers become an became an inconvenience. This is but another. But it sounds like... Oh! But it sounds like no secrets were spilled this time. So I suppose we can spend... I mean, we can say all wells that ends well. Wait. Instructor Will, if you came here to make sure that my secret wasn't shared, then you know I have a secret. Well, I... I didn't until now. Oops. Think no, uh, nothing of it, dear student. Everyone has secrets. It's in my... That's the my opinion. If there was one woman in the school who can be trusted with them all, it's dear Bree. I agree with that. What are you smiling for? You like to not to remind me of the obvious. I appreciate that. Like I said, Serena, sometimes people have intrusive thoughts. Whether they are act on them is the mark of a good person. Now let's get uh, well now now let's get you to the infirmary, Bree. You could do with a nap and some medicine. Instructor, I don't need that. I'm fine. Is isn't that for the nurse to decide? I yes, I suppose. Hmm. The infirm infirmary's here then. Never seen these. <gasps> whoa! Whoa! Wait! 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 They got sun and moon peeps in this? Not sun and moon. Sorry. Scarlet and violet. What the hell? Okay. I don't. I I don't remember who this is. Oh. Excuse, excuse us. Hmm. Hmm. Tall, skinny. That's Jasmine. I bet. That's not Jasmine. Oh, this one. Okay. The the, the one. Okay. It is the one accompanying her is Grusha. Cool. Thanks. You are welcome. Okay. Are you two having a conversation without me? Oh. Wow. Just a very short one. Not not a, about anything important. Honest. I just need to catch up on, up to those people who ran out of the infirmary. And I was wondering 
who they were. So Sabrina told me in. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I think Jaren might want to know about this. No, no, not yet. Jaren's too soft-hearted. He never approve of what we have to do to get this information. Then, we just go for it? Oh, I think we can figure something out. It's just a matter of timing, really. I don't... I, I probably said that wrong. It's getting a little juicy. A little juicy. Wow! It was all before lunch. We walk into the cafeteria in hot pursuit of Jasmine and R Rusha. Hmm. Jasmine sure walks fast for someone who spends a lot of time in the infirmary. Hey there. Uh, my name's Rin. You two are Jasmine and Rusha, right? Oh, you're Rin. Lovely, lovely. Caleb told me all about you. I wanted ever so badly to meet you, but I'm afraid I'm on my engagement with the infirmary kept me occupied. Right. I heard about that. Um, sorry for what you you're going through. I don't know what it, what it is exactly, but well, I'm doing better for for now. And that's must uh, <laughs> that's most of what I can hope for. And you, you are. Rusha, right? Oh, I came to her. The voice. Yeah. Sub Zero Shredder from Under Vera and North Paldea. Gazero Mountain, actually, but the, the post came to Monte Vera. Oh, okay. So, you're the one with the trash campaign. That's cool. I don't think I've seen you two around before. We keep to ourselves. We spend quite a, a bit of time in the infirmary, I'm afraid. Depending on how often you, you take the steel of ground elective for me, or the ice and flying elective for Grusha, Grusha. we might just ha have never met each other. Hmm, pardon me for asking, but Caleb said that you use a cane? Often, yes. But I don't think I'll, I'll need it today. It's a good day today. Yeah. So why are you looking for us? Some um, student council business? Yeah. Caleb wants to put together a meeting of all the student council hopefuls tomorrow morning. <laughs> sounds like a waste of time. Like, sounds like a waste of time. The voters are empathetic. Anyone with a pulse will get it, vote in, get voted in. It's not like we're competing against each other. Well, this sounds like an excellent opportunity to invigorate the voting population, no? Yeah, that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. I think I know how we, can, we could get people to vote. We just need to get them excited about our positions. True. Sharon would have more luck if he hadn't started his campaign so early. At this point, everyone's bored of, he of hearing from him. Let's not speak ill of him, Grusha. Meh. In any case, we can definitely make it to the meeting tomorrow morning. Great. Mind if I ask a quick question before I go, so? Please. What are you two running on? What are your positions? Oh, well, I suffer. I mean, yeah, no, suffer. From a s somewhat common type of recurrent fatigue. I spent much of my childhood being shuttled between various schools that were ill equipped to get give me an in extra inch I need in order to flourish. When I arrived at Kabikin, I expected it to be much of the same. Imagine a school as old as this one would not budge, not even an inch, to accompany its disadvantaged students. However, Dean Drayden, okay, I found is most admirable to my to my position. We have managed to work out an alternate schedule that accompanies uh, my issues quite well. Oh, what? 
so my desire is to have the advantages I've been given to be given freely to others and in trying as a, as protocol instead of exception okay it only seems fair wow that's very admirable Jasmine I'm impressed why thank you I just hope I can give back Education is the right of all who want to learn. I'm a massive accessibility advocate. That's good. What about you, Grisha? Yeah, same as her. Grisha. You should sit down, Jasmine. I'll, I'll get, get some food. This is good, Grisha. It takes him a, a while to warm up to people. Of course, I won't take it personally. Harshly takes it. I love getting things because it's just working on me. It's been a, pl a pleasure to meet you, Ray. I look forward to our meeting tomorrow. You have met Jasmine and Grisha. They will begin showing up in elective classes at lunch tables and after school 50% of the time. Though they are not always available, hanging out with them reward double the amount of social points you would earn with other characters. Whoa, for the angry team, these are the only ones that are... Everyone else is fine. Mm. Oh, they're part of the calm team now. The cheerful groups are way too high. And now they're all part of the busies. I barely talk to these people. Hmm. Wait, let me see. Is anyone even up? Except from B? B and that one has 15. I don't know how I got to level 2 with these two. Oh, yeah, my girl's here. She's a busy table. Go to the busy table. I'm just going to join in the conversation. It should be fun. You walk into the middle of a ca casual discussion. So it's like being a model. Pretty much, much like being you. Except I get paid to be hot and you're doing it for free. Yeah, you should never do something for free if someone... Some will pay for it. Everyone at this table should become a model. I think that against my contract, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that no one wants that. No one wants to be. I want wants me to be a model. Take your shirt off, and I'll let you know. You just happily as lunch passes. Okay. Wow, so my. So many different. Never. Ooh, I have never done the normal. And now I have a Tokopi. Who's only level. Who's <laughs> only level one? Why do I have a Tokopi? I'm glad you have a Chi. I probably have to bring Chi Pikachu there. I do want to have that. Well. The only person I really want to talk to is Bianca, so it should be fun. You choose normal. Go to the normal cast. Hey, Ethan. Ren, good to see you. Let's get this done. Oh, God. Yo, Ren. Hey, Whitney, you're in this class, too? Heh, <laughs> you bet. I gotta remember her voice. Is Ren looking for something? Someone, rather. I haven't seen Bianca since homeroom with Professor Birch. I imagine she's gotten lost. I'm here! <laughs> Am I late? There you have it. Alright, alright. Settle down, everyone. I see we have some new faces. Let's see. Ethan and Ren, right? <laughs> I'm Leonora. I'm your teacher for the normal type classes, which is 
the is the one you're in right now. I don't consider myself a very strict teacher, so I don't have many class rules. You can bring water, I mean food, water, whatever, just as long as you clean up after yourselves. The only thing I won't allow are cell phones. I see you kids staring at those things all day. You're going to go blind. The way I see it, you're all adults, so I shouldn't have to tell you these things. So this sounds like a lot like my mom. Now the first thing I want to do is to have each of you tell the class something about yourselves. Who would you who would like to go first? I'll go. I'm a uh, Rin and I'm from Ta Talento. It's a tiny town in the southeast of Kanto. Yeah, uh and I'm Ethan. I'm from New Barktown, a teeny town in the southeast of Johto. Oh, how cute. Seems you two have a lot in common then. Welcome to our little normal type family. The atmosphere in this room is really homey. I haven't felt this relaxed in a classroom in a really long time. And that's it. Before you know it, class is over. You knew, no, God. Your, pro, your normal type of woman can now reach level. I still don't know how that works. Because how, like, you're not going to just keep getting levels of 100. <laughs> how was your Monday? How has your Monday been, ladies and gentlemen? I'll uh, be been thinking about this upcoming quiz. After last Tuesday, last Thursday's one versus three affair, we're going back to basics. Well, it should be noted that this is the first battle that we. No, you know what? I'm going to just save. I'm just going to do it. Just doing it. No one can stop. As should be noted that this is... Oh, yeah, I said that. Held items. As such, your opponent will be equipped with one Auron Bay, which restores 10 health HP to a Pokemon in distress. Do keep this in mind. Now, take out your pencils. Remember, this is graded. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So I burn, my accuracy is one. Oh, okay. I lost his orange berry. Longjax gains the orange berry. Longjax's orange berry was used. I should start by this. Okay, and now. Yay! <laughs> Strategy! <laughs> I had to read everything. That may have been the, the grossest possible solution to that fight. Still, so berry, eat it in front of the foe, and burp it up in their faces. Their face. But our morality is weird. At a glance, it looks like everyone did quite well. I mean, usage is an important facet of battles. Study their effects and when it's most advantageous to use them. Not only could this save your victory in battle, in a battle, it could save your wallet. Well, that's definitely relevant. Right now, my primary income is beating up criminals in a dark alleyway, which I haven't done, and I need to save every penny I can get. Maybe I should visit Grenia, although I'm nervous about spending money on anything. Never never mind a shifty-sounding deal like that. Just burning a hole in my pocket right now. It's like the game's trying to tell me something. Well, that seems to be the end of your of our class, then. Have a nice rest of your day, and make sure to brush up on item usage. It will be relevant for your next quiz, I promise. That's not the voice for Professor Oak. <laughs> I can't think of it. Alright, I'll go. I got the battle team meeting soon. I just gotta track down the student council first. So 
Where would I be if I was a student council? Sitting around in the classroom talking to yourself? Hmm, no, that doesn't sound like me. Hey, Rin. It's been ages since we've done something together. Wanted to go to the battle hall and pound out a couple of battles before meeting? Sorry, nah, I'm on a mission from Caleb. Oh, what about? I need to track down the old student council. A bunch of us student council guys are trying to put together a meeting before the elections. Uh, that sounds dull. Eh, yeah, sorry, that was rude, wasn't it? It's just, I'm so surprised whenever I hear that you're, like, actually into the student council stuff. It really doesn't seem like you. Or maybe to it is totally is you. And I just don't know you as much as I thought I did. Ooh. Okay, let me see. What's my... I always have to see my traits. See what I have. Patience is up. My knowledge is still... Okay, we gotta bring that knowledge up. That was degrees three. Oh, okay. I, I get it. I guess you're, like, still getting used to this, huh? Definitely didn't come into school thinking I want to be part of a student council like I did with the battle team. But with everyone pushing me into it, well, at least I'm going to do... <laughs> I'm at least going to do my best. Of course, might not even get elected, so I'm not counting my chickens with their heads cut off. Pretty sure that's not how the phrase goes. Noted. But I gotta go. I gotta go now. <laughs> Don't have a whole bunch of time before the battle team meeting. Wanna come with me? Well, aren't you for it? Ha. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Huh? What? Nothing. Just didn't expect you to grab my hand like that. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I did. Do you have a problem with that? No, I'm just kind of cute how you were trying to make it seem so casual and uh, fail totally at it. Hey, when a girl tries to casually grab your arm, you just you don't point out whether or not they succeeded in doing it casually. I mean, have you tried counting shoulders? That one always works. Or maybe you could say that there's some mud on my hand. Try to wipe it off. That's one. It's a classic. <laughs> Okay, it's new flash buster. I'm trying to be serious here, and um, guess I'm trying. I was trying to be serious. Should have started that sentence with news flash. Should have started that with news flash buster. Okay, okay, okay. New plan. I'm not. I'm not doing this now. I'd rather jump in the lake than do this now. So uh, let's just pretend the last five minutes didn't happen, please. Uh, and here I thought I was getting somewhere. Sorry, Skippy. You might be the second best on the battle team, and and kind and fit and hilarious, but I guess that just isn't enough for me. Second best? Um, yeah, I'm I'm there. Oh, of course, my mistake. But it kind of sounds like you got some pretty unrealistic standards. Please, I can afford to have any standards I want. Have you seen me? I'm a catch. So is a magic herb. Anyway, <laughs> what then? Would be enough for your standards. Maybe if I was a rocket scientist. No, that does that don't. Bro, are we actually getting to where we need to go? <laughs> Back and forth for the whole time. Now that does that don't impress me much. How about you get onto that student council? Then just maybe then I feel like I can hang out with you without running ruining my reputation. Well, at least you're not piggy. Ha! Come on, Rin. You gotta find that student council, right? Come on, you dork. Let's go. Oh, Sonia, I bet she can help us find them. Hmm. <laughs> Sonia. Oh, hi there, you two. Where are you after? Were you after me, then? Apparently. Yeah, I wanted to rely <laughs> on your expertise as our senior. Not sure if I, if my experience will be of any use, really, but I give it, I'll give it my best shot. Well, we're trying to 
find the student council. Rin is going to tell them to be clear out of their offices. It's not exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Thing is, though, we're not really sure where they... Ah, I'm trying to do this. Where they are. We don't know if they're like a club room or meeting place or something. Oh, so because I was here last year, you reckon I know where they might be. Right, I see. Was there very involved in student council? Seems like a lot of fuss without a lot of yield. But I definitely, I distinctly remember they, they're meeting relic halls, lobbies after school every day. Really? Relic hall lobby? All right, I know the way there, no problem. You sure about that, Navigator? I got lost one time. Once! In a brand new school that practically is larger than my entire hometown. I must admit, I was a tad overwhelmed the first time I came to Kubikin, too. I'm from Wedgehurst in Gallard. I must say, cities have always had a way of spinning me around. I mean... I made to Hammerlock a couple of times, and just looking up at the castle ramparts gave me vertigo, some something awful. Hey, Sonia, might I ever ask you a question? Another one, you mean? But of course, go on, go off. I mean, in pride, but from what you, we heard from Janine, it sounds like you were in the battle team last year, but you just quit. That's just the battle team, but the school itself. Right? Um, why? You don't mind, I'd rather keep a lid on that for now. I know we're battle team teammates, but there are a few things... There are a few things I'd rather keep close to my chest, at least for a while. Last year isn't exactly something I'm proud of. Oh, yeah, of course, I get it. Um, sorry. That's quite alright. Glad I could help you with another tidbit. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. Anything we can do for you? Well, if you have the, mon the money, I need some research work done. I'm a deaf hand at, at that. My specialties are astrobiology and gathering myth history. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have the money for that. Well, keep it in mind. Good luck, you two. All right, the relic hall lobby, right? Follow me, follow me up for a jog. I really sweat out everything if I do that. Oh, that's not good. You gotta remember to stay hydrated. I do by not running. <laughs> huh, I mean, I just drink a ton of water to replenish, but I guess we all have different strategies. I'll speed walk with you. Sure, that's close enough. Oh, wow, I haven't seen... My last name is Gonzalez? The hell was that? Oh, Speedy Gonzalez. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rin Gonzalez, fastest student council hopeful in the West. How are you doing? Pretty good, bro. Oh, I think I remember you. Yes, I believe I do. Dorm 151, and you wish to be separated from Blue Oak. Yeah, that didn't work out great. At least I don't have to dorm with him. Oh, Rinkin. Ah, don't. What can we do for you? Okay, let's organize in a meeting of student council hopefuls tomorrow morning in the cafeteria. He's hoping we can all compare our positions align our goals, then come up with a united campaign to get people to vote. A nice goal. I tried something similar last year, but what part do we play in this? Because I was hoping for... I was hoping you could come to the meeting and hear our thoughts. If you like what they're saying, of what we're saying, then maybe you'll give us your endorsement. Because I think that would mean a lot of, to the current students. Sure, why not? It's an interesting idea. I don't object. 
ellipses. Hmm. I'm a student council president for only for only four more days, but I want but I want to be sure that I'm leaving my school in good hands. You've been talking quite a bit about Caleb. He's the one who has has planned everything so far. Oh, well, he planned this, yeah. He's not run he's not running on a single issue like Jasmine and Grusha are. He's now overly controversial like Jaren is. It seems to me that he would be best picked for a student council president. What about Serena? She is a valid option, but in all Serena's and Caleb's public engagement, it has been Serena standing at Caleb's side. He, has, he is a better public speaker. Oh, Likely better able to weather the throne stones than inevitably follow election, too. Ha! Yeah! There's a lot of those. Hmm. Well, why are you talking about the presidency? Does the, don't the student? Ah, oh, sorry. Does the council members who get elected decide among themselves who the president is? That is the case. If Shannon is elected president of your student council, you will be powerless. Oh, damn. He will demand radical and sweeping structural changes immediately after election, then will vaporize any goodwill the administration may have held to allow him to implement his smaller changes. What? It's true, I'm afraid. This, my council had the same problem. After I was elected, I tried to implement voting holidays, re-implement a financial affirmative action program, and even tried to strip away the privileges of legacy emissions. I still firmly believe that these policies would have, would make Kabuki more fair, but I was quite promptly shut down, and the administration has never seriously listened to us since. <laughs> if we had another year, may, yeah, hey, maybe we'll be able to do something. We know how to play the game now, but being in this council involves a lot of politicking. Oh, God. It's so true. Than I think any of us were prepared for. I was telling Roxanne she needs to slow down before she was elected. But like Cassandra, those with the keenest eyes have the weakest grasp. Caleb so He could, could make some of... Your policies happen, I'm sure of it. But Jaren will lead you into a brick wall. For the sake of your student council, he must, re he must revoke his claim to student council presidency. Damn. Is that the condition of your endorsement? F for him? Yes. I don't imagine there will be any issues endorsing the rest of you. Jasmine and Grisha's focus is quite narrow. But they seem sensible enough to pivot. Pivot! <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I, every, I, every time I hear it, I just keep remembering that. To new positions once their sensibility concerns are addressed. Yeah, not sure how to tell Sharon this myself. Can you tell him at the t meeting tomorrow? Yes. We'll arrive early, so we can have this conversation with him before... You take over. All right, thank you. Uh, wait, sorry. I know I'm not really part of this conversation, but uh, I have a question. Yeah, shoot. What about Rin? Why couldn't he be a presidential, a president candidate? Well, he could, but there's a certain level of charming innocence here that I think it will be a dreadful shame to extinguish. As becoming president, most certainly would. Don't lock yourself into anything, Rin. It'll be a dreadful waste of a man with your options. Uh, thanks for looking out for me? That's my job. For a few more days, in any case. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. Alright, let's go change and meet up at the battle hall. Yeah, of course. Oh, that was weird. His options, huh? 
I want him to take me seriously. If I want him to see me as more than a option, maybe I need to take him more seriously. Ooh. Hey, it's Pikachu. Please pick up Pokemon to send to your PC. You can hover over. I'm sorry, Togepi. You only had so much to give. Oh, <laughs> now I can do it. Good, you're all here. We need to talk about... Wait, one of you is missing. Where's Erica? Oh. Okay, music just kicked in. I th well, I don't see her. Unbelievable. On our second meeting, the girl's late. This isn't going to happen again, understand? I have absolutely no tolerance for this kind of thing. We have less than a year to accompany the highest position of honor in the entire Kabukan region. If you think I'm going to let you slack off on that, then you don't understand what the battle team is now. Ah, uh, hello. Apologize for my lateness. I was just picking up some items I thought might be useful. I go walks into the room with a trolley full of strange headsets and fanny packs. Hope this serves as a Adequate, no, adequate, no, a adequate, my brain, adequate apology for my tardiness, Miss Jenning. I don't want you thinking you can buy your way into my good books. I wouldn't dare. All right, you're off the hook. <laughs> Come up here and tell everyone what you bought. Hello, my fellow teammates. Oh my god. I hate you. Hey, Ledger. What does that even mean? I. Uh, my name is Erica. What? What? Didn't I say that? Erica, continue. Ethan, until you sort out your issues, just stay quiet. Eh? Uh, okay. Well, right. I believe many of you have recently come into possessions of baby Pokemon hatched from Spring Day. Eggs, yes. It occurred to me that training them up, up might be quite a bother. It certainly would be for me, so I purchased a shipment of Silco. Okay. Priority experience share equipment. Oh, of course. It would be poor form if I were to use the shipment only for myself, so I purchased enough for the entire battle team. Based on the size of the pile, I think she may have purchased enough for last year's battle team. Of course, many people's <laughs> Pokemon types, I mean, Pokemon body types are not well suited for Shape of the Experience share. So I've also purchased a shipment of Nazian battle bags. They are hand woven by gen genuine Calisian artists, artisans. Alert! A dumb question is incoming. Hey, uh, what's up, Battle Bag? You know how in battles your Pokemon can hold berries or wear heavy duty boots or rocky helmet or something? Yeah, sure. Oh, God. It kept going after that. I mean, some of them. I don't know how you put boots on a hop hoppy. That's exactly what Battle Bags are for. They're multi uh, purpose item holding equipment. Wow, that was a run that can let pretty much any body type use any item they want heh <laughs> there was a time before battle bags were invented in Johto when Pokemon would choose Pokemon ah when people would choose Pokemon just because they were bipedal and could use battle equipment properly okay of course, there are much wider variety of equipment before then. Battle bags kind of made equipment for different body types obsolete. Sounds like a win for accessibility, but a loss for a small business then. Erica hands out an experience share and battle bag to every battle team member. 
Oh, pink. That's my color. Thank you, Erica. Let's go out, right? I thought I sensed in you a fellow woman with an eye for fashion. Oh, well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to stand out. Why ever not? I'm certain that if you try, you could quite easily turn your battles into spectacle. Why, with the auditorium of of yours, you might remind me of the Honin Contest Champion. Uh, um, uh, that's... Nope, that's enough. You get three chances to spit it out. If it takes four tries, we don't have time for that. Erica, does everyone have one? Almost. Here you go, Rin. A little thanks for the uh, confidence boost you gave me. Thanks. Now, here's a girl who could, who could pay my tuition without even thinking about it. Hey, what the hell, Rin? Don't be become someone's friend just to get at their money. That's messed up. Jeez, the stress is getting to me. Erica... Definitely places an experience share in your hands. Our touch lingers perhaps a moment too long. Now let's see. You know how to, to use all these, right? Yeah, just click the button on the bottom right of the screen. And if I want to unequip it, unequip an item from a Pokemon. I just gotta click the item on their stats page, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I did last year. Uh. <laughs> oh, my super's like, the fuck if. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Give those experience shares to your lowest level Pokemon. If you don't, you're just wasting t experience. Yeah. Who is the weakest? I don't know. Oh! Speaking of experience, what levels are your Pokemon right now? It should be around level 12. By the end of Sunday, you should have teams of level of level 14s. What? Ha! All my Pokemon are way higher level than that. Good job. What? It's a good job, Blue. I hate repeating myself, but you, I didn't. What? <laughs> What's the Edge studying him about? I think this might be the first time, first person who ever actually said good job to him. Probably doesn't know how to handle it. Right. Keep me updated on what levels your Pokemon should be at a given moment. If you ever want a reminder, visit me in your free time in the battle hall. Um, if we're below that level, what should we train? Besides the bat battles you have in class, the wild is an option. Pokemon in the wild are far too weak to, for me to care about. I'm going to learn nothing from defeating them. Right. The school almost done securing the forest after that fire. So I think you should probably be able to go into the forest soon. Pokemon there tend to be a bit stronger than the, the ones you might find in the city. Until the forest opens up, though, your best option is just to get it in whatever practice you can on campus. Which I was supposed to have my things way higher than what they are now. Speaking of, it's time to do some practice battles. Normally we do these every Friday, but I wanted to get a head start since the first quarter clash is soon. You said you don't anticipate 
that will be matched up against anyone you cannot easily beat in the first quarter clash. That's right. I don't anticipate that, which is why we need to prepare for it. Intense. Pair up. I want everyone to focus on training their Pokemon be beneath level 12 right now. Oh, that's a little bit everyone. Ultimate training will always provide an extra boost to the Pokemon beneath the recommended level. Anyway, on this note, I have talked my way too much. I like, comment, and subscribe. I keep on bringing up episodes every single day unless something weird happens. Hopefully nothing weird happens because every time something weird happens, it hurts me. <laughs> Physically. But I do have a Twitter or X. Oh, I hate that. It's going to be at your... And now it's X.com, I swear. <laughs> but for now, it's at, uh, so Cheetor, so C-H-E-E-T-D-O-R. I post videos every single day. It's just these YouTube ones. Um, I do, of course, Thanks, thank you for watching. With that and everything else, BFN. Bye for now. Yeah.